Hey everyone, so welcome to an episode of How To Sailing Lady Africa and in this episode we're going to show you guys how to restore your stainless steel. The stainless steel here is 26 years old and when it was done back then there was a lot of, probably wasn't as much good, good quality tools and this was a homemade job so the guy didn't do a really good job about it and so if you come close we'll show you exactly what it is. So if you can see if you can watch closely, there's scratches all along the length of this. It started oxidizing in some places. It's good quality stainless steel underneath there because it's obviously lasted so long without uh, aging too badly and without showing, but you can see he probably used an angle grinder with, uh, with a flapper disc or something like that. Um, there's a lot of marks in there. I don't know if you can see all the scratches along there. There's a lot of scratches. So what we're gonna start off with is with these kind of discs. These are like fine, fine grinding discs they're really really fine they probably there's this this one over here is probably equivalent to about a 300 grit 350 400 grit somewhere around there um, this one's a little bit lower so you get them they as you can see on this one that's a medium and this one's a fine so what we want to do is all the initial scratches that you got we're going to take off with the medium there after we're going to use the fine and then after we're going to do a stainless steel polishing and all done with a basic little angle grinder. You guys all got an angle grinder at home. Very basic to use. You can keep the guard or take it off. This, this is relatively safe to do without a guard. Just keep your hands away from, from the disc at all times. And But yeah, if you feel safer with the guard on, keep the guard on, use it like that. Um, I've got a bit of experience with it, so I use it with the guard off. And these discs don't break up as opposed to normal cutting discs that you guys may use. Um, so they are relatively safe to use with the guard. The polishing wheels, you have to use them without the guard because they don't fit with the guard. Um, you got to be careful when handling them that you move slowly and easily. Don't apply too much pressure because they can bite and it can swing the angle grinder around. So you just want to slowly work it. Starting with the medium, make sure you got the pair of safety glasses. If you can, one of those full face masks, even better. Especially for the buffing because there's a lot of stuff that flies around. But we'll show you. Here we go with the medium. So there's it now, and I didn't do this. This is from 26 years odd or whatever. You can see all those fine scratches, so we're gonna start working at this area. So now what we'll do, we'll change out to the finer disc and um, we'll get a fine. So now what we've taken out is all the deeper scratches that we've taken out to this one. If you've got really light scratches, you can try and define before you go to the medium and see if it removes it. If it removes it, fine, then you just buff it thereafter. You don't have to go to the medium. If you go to the medium, you have to do the fine, fine before you buff it out. Switch up out to the fine grit and we do the second phase. When it comes to this one, remember we're doing really old stainless steel. I'm probably showing you close to the worst case scenario. Um, there's a lot of cuts in it. There's, well, it wasn't nicely done. So there's the fine done now. You can have a look at what it looks like there. Switch out, it's, it's pretty hot. So that's what the fine looks like after that's been done. And you can really compare it to the difference of that one there. And now onto the buffing wheel. So this is a, a denim buffing wheel. You get a few different ones. These denim ones are a little bit longer lasting. They're a little bit more aggressive. And for the older stainless steel that I'm using, they're perfect. You can also use them on brand new stainless if you're just gonna do a buffing surface. So you're gonna fit it on. And you always wanna make sure that you go with the rotation of the stitching. If you go against the rotation of the stitching, the power will come apart quite easily or faster, not quite easily. There's the polishing wheel on your angle grinder. And so we use a, this is the product we're using. I think it's Marpolinia if I'm not mistaken. But you get a, a variance of them. What's important to find in these compounds is that finishing paste for titanium steel and stainless steel. The main one that you're looking for is obviously stainless steel, but you want it to be a finishing paste. You get a cutting compound, you get a whole bunch of variants of them. So finding the finishing paste is the one that you're looking for and that's the right one. Let me show you what it, how we get it on. You start up the angle grinder. You 
pretty much get some on like that. As you can see that stuff flies everywhere, that's important to have some eye protection on. Don't try and apply it to the metal, apply it to the buffing wheel. So let's get going with it. So I'll let you decide uh, whether the method works or not. There's one right next to it. You can actually see it over there. I'll buff this here so you can see all the scratches that we took out. So that's what it looked like before. I just buffed the old section. There's an example of the first of a fine cut. And then the final example of what it looks like once it's polished. With this final polishing on, what you've basically done is you seal the outer edge of the stainless steel. This will improve the longevity of the metal, improve the amount of time it takes to, to get, say, little oxidation marks on it, um, easier to clean, easier to, keep, to maintain. When it's in that state, although it's a, it's a brushed finish, it's much harder to maintain, much harder to keep clean. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below if you want to see more videos like this. And if you enjoy it, check all the other videos that we got and a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up because it helps us out a lot. If you'd like to join our amazing Patreon family and get behind the scenes footage of what we're up to every week, a link is provided in the description below.